wondered if the colored contact lens you see your favorite influencer touting online is actually safe for your eyes? If you're interested in finding out more, keep watching. Hey everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye surgery, eye health, and my favorite passion topic, which is beauty and eye products and what's safe for your eyes. Today we're combining the two, colored contact lenses, cosmetic contacts. I've always been obsessed with changing my eye color and finding something really fun to do a pop with makeup. So. I have been seeing a lot of influencers touting specific brands of cosmetic colored contact lenses. So I can't speak to specific brands or specific companies, but I know I got a lot of questions about how to evaluate the safety of these lenses. So I thought I would tell you guys what you need to look out for when you were purchasing these lenses online, and then you guys make the decision that's right for you. That being said, if you're just wearing a colored lens just for a photo shoot or for a few hours, you know, now I've gotten a little bit lazy, so I don't really wear colored lenses every day rarely wear them at all, but I put them on for today. So if you're just wearing them for a few hours, you don't have to be as concerned. Now, if you're wearing them daily, it's a really, it's a different story here. So I'm going to tell you the three things that you need to look out for when you are about to purchase contact lenses online. So the first is the type of lens material that the contact is made out of. So you have to remember that a contact lens is an FDA approved medical device. It's not just a fun thing like lash extensions or falsies or even makeup. It's something that is regulated by the FDA because it can have serious eye health consequences. You can theoretically go blind from them, and I have seen that happen. Worst case I saw was a patient who shared a colored contact lens with a friend and then developed this blinding infection. It was really awful. So you have to take it seriously. That being said, just because it was approved by the FDA doesn't necessarily mean it's the safest option for you. There were a lot of contact lenses that were FDA approved in the 1980s, and that lens technology was great back then, but things have progressed, and so now we have safer options for the eyes. So when you look at what the lens is made out of, in the 60s and 70s, contact lenses started to be made out of something called hydrogel. That was the first soft contact lens material. Before that, it was hard contact lenses. So if you've ever worn hard contact lenses and switched to soft, you know what I'm talking about. It was like revolutionary. It was so much more comfortable for these patients' eyes. So these type of lens materials, they were made in the 60s and 70s. Polymacon is one, Nephilcon is another. And the last one, I always forget this one, Omophilcon. So those are names of lens materials that were made in the 60s, 70s, a um, little bit older technology. The problem with the older technology, because sometimes older technology is fine, the problem with it in the case of contact lens materials is that it just doesn't let as much oxygen to the surface of the eye as the newer technologies. Now the newer technologies in contact lens are silicone hydrogels. Those are just a little bit better, or a lot better actually, for the health of your eyes. I'm going to list in the details section below some of the different types of lens technologies, so the different types of lens materials, so that you can know what you're looking for when you go to these different websites. So the second parameter is the DK coefficient, or the DK over T. What is that? That is the amount of oxygen transmitted to the front surface of the eye for a given lens thickness. So these numbers can range. The older ones were really nine to 25. Those are those hydrogel, those first generation of soft contact lenses. The silicone hydrogels, the ones that you probably are wearing on a daily basis, like your AccuView Oasis, your Biofinities, your Focus Night and Days, those numbers range in from 100 to even 180. That's the DK coefficient. And in this case, higher is better. A higher number means that more oxygen is getting to the front surface of your eye. Because guess what? Your eye likes oxygen. That's a no-brainer, right? When you don't get enough oxygen to the front surface of the eye, you can get consequences like blood vessel growth called neovascularization. You can become intolerant of wearing your contact lens and you can even develop corneal infections or ulcers. So those are all possibilities with lower DK lens types. 
So when you're looking online, try to find the DK number. It should be there in the about section or the detail section about the lens specifics. Now the downside of these higher silicone hydrogel DK lenses is that they don't have that real opaque look the way that some of the real cosmetic costume type lenses. So right now I'm wearing the Air Optics. They're a monthly contact lens. I'm wearing them in gray, so it's not sponsored. I just like them. But you can tell, you know, you can kind of see the ring. It's maybe not quite as natural. I usually wear the green because it's a lot more subtle because that's what I prefer. But that's the downside because the more opaque contact lenses tend to be a thicker lens material, which therefore has a lower DK number. Remember, higher DK is better. The third number, which you'll find on these contact lens websites, which is kind of irrelevant, is the water content. So water content, it's, it's this nomenclature that we used to use in the 1980s. Okay, not me personally, because I wasn't old enough back then. I was like four. But nomenclature that was used in the 1980s to talk about how hydrating a contact lens is. We don't really use it that much anymore because the DK is just a much better number to follow. The way that they have these numbers, it's a little bit counterintuitive. If there's a high water contact, it actually means that the lens dries out more quickly and a low water content lens ha has just more hydrating properties. So it's a little bit backwards. So these numbers, what number are you looking for? So there's a range, about 35 to 75. Low water content is pretty much anything but below 40. 50 to 60 is in that mid range and 60 and above is considered high. So if you've got really dry eyes, you don't want a really high 65 water content lens. It's just going to feel too dry on your eye. And here's the other odd thing, that, that water content and DK, you would think that they would be related, but they're not. So a lens can have a really low water content, feel really great on the surface of your eye, but then have a poor DK number. So I've actually tried a couple of these lenses and they felt great, but their DK was low. So I just knew that it wasn't getting a lot of oxygen in the front surface of my eyes. So it's not um, related, it's not associated together, if that makes sense. Now with any type of contact lens, if you're new to wearing colored contact lenses, you wanna make sure to follow a really proper wearing schedule. So if you've never worn them before, you need to start at like two hours a day and build up. Don't start out full time. It's just going to feel like it's too much for your eyes. The other thing is if you put the lens in and it feels not right, take it out. You might have makeup trapped under there. The lens might be flipped or there could even be a tear in the lens. You want to make sure that you've been properly trained on how to insert and remove a lens and how to handle some of the things that can happen when you're wearing a contact lens so that you can avoid any potential eye complications. Again, this isn't just a pair of falsies. This is a real medical device you're putting in your eye. That's why all of these websites should require a contact lens prescription from your eye doctor, at least in the United States. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. Check out the details section and I'll list some of that lens material information for you so you can, again, make your own decision. I am not here to tell you what to do. I just want to educate so you guys can make the most informed decision possible. Please let me know what kind of contact you want to see. I'm always happy to produce the content that you want to watch. And I really do read every comment and it's nice to see what you guys are interested in. So like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. And I will see you soon. Mahalo.